happen in Orlando. He'll have a look back at a very intriguing opening weekend in the NFL. Now a dump off here complete. And he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. A six-yard pickup. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. Chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Now they try the right side here. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. A great effort there. On his way to a historic performance. Four first half touchdowns. And the Broncos will extend their lead. And that rushing touchdown, his fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that. So the offense set to take the field here. They will have the football with less than a minute to go in the first half. He's got the first down and more past midfield. And he'll be taken down at the 26. A big pickup of 38. Thought they were going to have him down a lot earlier, but he was able to shed that tackle. Shows the value of the weight room, doesn't it? Shows the value of the attitude when you run the football. Don't go down easily. Break a few tackles. Gain some additional yardage. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Second and two. So we're 